I am going to talk about absolute value. Absolute value is the distance from the origin or zero in the number line. What's the number line? Yeah, this is a number line. So from zero, positive integer real numbers go right side and negative integer real numbers at the left side. Then normally is Cartesian coordinate system. There is X and Y. This is two dimensional. But number line is one dimensional. Absolute value inserted between two vertical bars. So <coughs> not bracket, not parenthesis. So two vertical bars. So if, if I write here negative 3, this means absolute value of negative 3. If I write vertical between x, this means absolute value of x. If I write 2x minus 3, this means absolute value of 2x minus 3. <coughs> For example, f absolute value, what is the absolute value of 3? Question. As I mentioned at the beginning, absolute value means distance from the origin. So, what is the distance from the origin? Question. So this positive 3, we look for positive 3. Okay, we find here. This is positive 3. Here, what is the distance from the origin? 3 units. So absolute value of 3, positive 3 is 3. <coughs> How about absolute value of negative 3? So this is again question distance from the origin. So we go look for negative 3 here. So what is the distance between origin and negative 3 is 3. So absolute value is negative 3 also 3. <coughs> so absolute value is always positive because this is distance not vector quantity. This is a Scalar quantity. I will give you an interesting example. I look at the map <coughs> yesterday, then I see on the map one of the two, three important cities. <coughs> one is Toronto, other is Seattle, Seattle, US. Other is Rome, Italy. So, these three cities approximately the same latitude. Not exactly the same, but approximately. Distance also approximately 4,000 km west of Toronto. This is 10,000 km east of Toronto. <coughs> How can I write this information? on the number line. So I draw a number line. <coughs> this is a small. So let's say Toronto zero. So okay. So let let one unit one thousand kilometers. So Seattle will be negative four. So Rome will be positive 10. Yeah. Okay, I write 10 here. 10, okay. So this is Seattle. Seattle. This is Toronto. So, as I mentioned, the distance is not vector quantity. <coughs> so, basically, negative 4, this is the uh, Seattle. So what is the absolute value? So what is the distance between Toronto and Seattle? 4 or 4 units. 1 unit, 1000, 4000 kilometers. So we can, we don't say negative 4000 kilometers. This doesn't make sense. Okay, from Toronto to Rome, 10. This is 10. What is the absolute value of 10? 10. 
So absolute value can never be negative, but it can be zero, and it must be positive, always positive value. Okay, what is the absolute okay, value of x equal to? <coughs> so question, what is x? First of all, this is distance, distance from origin. So we go number line, we find locations number must be two un two units distance from the origin, two units far from the origin. So this is one of them, this one, another one, this one. So this is two units, two units. So x can be negative 2 and positive. There are two solutions. Okay. <coughs> Absolute value of x minus 5 equal to. This means distance from the origin to x minus 5 must be two units far. So, two units. So this is again distance. So from the origin, two units away. One location this, another location this. So it means x minus five for this location, negative two, x equal positive three. For this location, x minus five equal two, x equal positive 7. Okay, another example. Absolute value of 3 minus negative 9 absolute value plus 2 times absolute value of 5 minus 7. Question mark. Okay, absolute value of 3 is 3. This negative come here. Absolute value negative 9 is 9. So this positive is outside bar. 2 also outside bar. So these are inside the bar bars. So 5 minus 7 is negative 2. So absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So when we work on this 3 minus 9 plus 4 equal negative 2. This is the answer. Another example. Absolute value of x less than 4. This means x, x must be less than 4 units away from the origin. So we should look this interval. So we find 4 units here, so 4 units here, so x cannot be more than 4 units away from the origin, so this is, we use open dot, so x must lie in this interval, why we use open dot, because 4 is not included, if 4 equal, if we put equal or greater than x or less than equal 4 we have we can use close that so in this case we use open that so it means x must be in between negative 4 and positive 4 so 4 is not acceptable another example 2x minus 1 absolute value greater or equal 5 okay so in this case 2x minus 1 this expression must be more than 5 units equal this time close that equal or more than 5 units away from the origin so for this location we write 2x minus 1 
less than negative 5. 2x negative 4, x negative 2. For this location, 2x minus 1 greater than 5. So 2x greater than 6x equal or greater than 3x equal or less than negative 2. So basically in this uh, if you put this on number line 2 negative 2 0 so x must be in this. So this time close that. Thank you very much for watching my video.